Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. This is the Marion City Council meeting for Thursday, February 6th. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Roll call, please. Mr. Draper, Ms. Atkins. Here. Mr. Jensen. Mayor Abu Asli. Here. Mr. Brandt. Here. Ms. Gadelia. Here. Mr. Sternett. Here. Thank you. Time we have a moment of silence. Thank you. First on our agenda this evening, we have a proclamation. Um, I've asked Councilmember Gadela to present the proclamation. Is there anyone here to accept it? Please come forward. You could all come forward if you want. So come on forward. Whereas honeybees and native insects are important as pollinators for a third of the food we eat, and honeybees are vital in production of over 90 crops grown across the nation, many of which are in Iowa. Honeybees contribute to a healthy Iowa environment by assuring availability of fruits, vegetables, nuts, and flowers for wildlife in all islands. Whereas Iowa's 45,000 or more honeybee hives produce about 4 million pounds of honey valued at over $8 million, and honeybees provide an estimated $92 million of economic value to Iowa crops from their pollination. Whereas Iowa has over 4,500 beekeepers representing hobbyists, sideliners as part-time businesses, and full-time commercial beekeepers. Hobby beekeepers have as few as one hive to commercial operations with thousands of hives. Whereas traditionally, beekeeping occurred in rural areas of Iowa. Now, beekeeping increasingly occurs in urban areas with the rising interest of hobby beekeepers for keeping beehives in Iowa cities and towns. Whereas the city of Marion has issued four bee permits, including one for a commercial rooftop. Whereas the state of Iowa has an active apiary inspection program to protect honeybees and beekeepers from introduction and spread of apiary diseases and pests. Whereas honeybees face serious threats from invasive pests, decreasing bee-friendly forage, variable climate, and increasing pesticide and herbicide pressure. Whereas our state and county roadsides comprise a total of almost 115,000 miles, providing native plantings and reducing the mowing and spraying of herbicides on the roadsides are helping pollinator survival. Now, therefore, I, Renee Gadelia, on behalf of Nicholas Aboasili, Mayor of the City of Marion, along with other cities and counties, do hereby proclaim Thursday, February 13, 2020, as Iowa Honey Bee Day, and encourage all citizens, residents, and visitors to join in observing this day and focusing on the importance of honeybees to our state economy, to enjoy the honey and other products of honeybees, to recognize the honeybees' role in maintaining our Iowa environment, and to assist in reducing the threats to honeybee survival in our state. Thank you. Did anyone want to say anything? <laughs> Welcome to make some comments. Just state your, uh, your name and address. Tom Hart, 1107 12th Street, Northeast Cedar Rapids. We just want to compliment the Marion Council and community for being welcoming to honeybees. I'm the District 2 representative for the Iowa honey producers. 
uh, and it's towns that have made this jump like Marion uh, that's making Iowa a very welcoming state. Even though we have strong agriculture and challenges, uh, we're working together with pesticide applicators, farmers, uh, and in the Iowa way, I think we're going to assure the survival of honeybees. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Renee. At this time, we have a public forum. This is a section in our meeting uh, that is open for comments from members of the public on any topic listed on the agenda but not associated with the public hearing. If there's anyone here to address the council on any item that is listed on the agenda but not associated with the public hearing, this is the time to do that. Please come forward. Okay, we will move on to the consent agenda. Councilmember Gadela. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I make a motion to approve the consent agenda as follows, including items A1 through F2. And this is resolutions 28245 through 28252, um, but we are pulling two of these, and they are on page two, the items at the top, uh, 1, B, and C, and these are both related to the Dollar General Store. Second. And these are being pulled for separate consideration or, or pulled all together? All together. Okay. It has been moved and seconded to approve the consent agenda, including items uh, A1 through F2, resolutions 28245 through 28252, but excluding um, 2B and, and C. Any discussion? Is that clear? Okay. Any discussion? <coughs> okay. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. <coughs> motion is approved. For the next section, I will turn over the gavel to the Deputy Mayor Pro Temp. Thank you, Your Honor. Deputy Mayor Pro Temp. I move to approve the consent agenda with Mayor Abelossi's abstention from voting and discussion as follows. With items E1 through F1, this will be resolutions 28253 through 28256. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the consent agenda without Mayor Abelossi's abstention for items E1 through F1, resolutions 28253 through 28256. Discussion? Okay, seeing none, all those uh, in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Passing it back to the mayor. Uh, I move to approve, uh, Your Honor, I move to approve the minutes of January 21st, 23rd, and 24th, 2020 City Council meetings. Second. It's removed and seconded to approve the minutes of the January 21st, 23rd, and 24th, 2020 City Council meetings as presented. Discussion? Okay, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. And I'd like to abstain. Okay. Thank you. So we have four yeses and one abstention. The motion is approved. Grant? Mayor, I move to approve ordinance number 20-01, amending chapter 122 of the Code of Ordinances relating to solicitors, peddlers, and transient merchants. Initial consideration. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve ordinance number 20-01, amending chapter 122 of the Code of Ordinances relating to solicitors, peddlers, and transient merchants. Initial consideration. Discussion. All those in favor of ordinance number 20-01, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion is approved. Your Honor, I move to approve ordinance number 20-02, amending chapter 7.05 of the Code of Ordinances relating to operating budget preparation. This is the initial consideration. Second. 
It's been moved and seconded to approve ordinance number 20-02, amending chapter 7.05 of the Code of Ordinances relating to operating budget preparation. Discussion? All those in favor of ordinance number 20-02, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion is approved. At this time, we have a public hearing on a proposal to enter into a general obligation urban renewal loan agreement. The public hearing is now open. Who will give us a brief synopsis of what the public hearing is about? Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, as the city is moving closer to uh, construction of a successor library on the block in between City Hall and the current library, um, we are seeking to give ourselves statutory authority to do a future general obligation bond for up to $7 million to pay for uh, the city's portion of that project. Um, this will uh, meet that requirement. We do not anticipate issuing the bonds for a while until it's actually required by cash flow for the building project. It will likely be split over uh, two different calendar years. Okay. Is there anyone here to address the council either in favor or in opposition of this measure? Please come forward. This is the public hearing portion, so if anyone's here to address the council on this measure, please come forward. Okay. We'll close the public hearing. I would like to ask if we've received any comments outside of this meeting on this matter. My office is not. And okay. Please note that for the public record. Turn ahead. Yes. Mayor, I move to approve resolution number 28257, taking additional action on proposal to enter into general obligation urban renewal loan agreement. This will be the library development project. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 28257, taking additional action on a proposal to enter into general obligation urban renewal loan agreement for the library development project. Discussion. So this is, this is, it's not a definite number, it's up to 7 million, depending on where the final numbers come in. Yeah, that's project. one of the advantages of splitting it over two different issuances is we can do one based on what we'll need for construction and then as, as we get closer, especially after we have all the bids for the project, we'll do the appropriate sizing. Further discussion? Questions? Okay, we'll vote. All those in favor of resolution number 28257, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion is approved. Uh, for this, the next two items, I will turn over the gavel to the mayor, Deputy Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Deputy Mayor Pro Tem, I move to remove from table resolution 28227, re approving a memorandum of understanding, the MOU for Mojo Properties LLC. This was tabled on 123 of 2020. Second. It's been moved and seconded to remove from the table resolution number 28227, approving a memorandum of understanding with Mojo Properties, which was tabled on 12320. Discussion? May I just ask why it was tabled? I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we did not have enough council members present to be able to vote in the affirmative. That's why I don't remember. I was one of those who was not present, so <laughs> thank you. We need four for a resolution. <laughs> All those in favor, uh, say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. So four ayes and one abstention. Deputy, Deputy Mayor Pro Tem, I move to approve resolution 28227, approving a memorandum of understanding, MOU with Mojo Properties, LLC. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 28227, approving a memorandum of understanding with Mojo Properties, LLC. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Sorry. All those opposed? No? Okay. And back to the mayor. Your Honor, I move to approve resolution number 28258, approving fiscal year 2019-2020 capital budget transfers. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 28258, approving 
the fiscal year 2019-2020 capital budget transfers. Discussion? All those in favor of resolution number 28258, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. <coughs> Motion is approved. Mayor, I move to approve resolution number 28259, setting the date for public hearings on proposals to enter into general obligation loan agreements. This will be a series of 2020A. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 28259, setting the date for public hearings on proposals to enter into general obligation loan agreements. Discussion? All those in favor of resolution number 28259, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. Motion is approved. Mayor, I move to approve the following mayoral appointment to the Historic Preservation Committee. Timothy Godsell, 9 Chapel Ridge Circle, Apartment F, Marion, term expiration of 1-1-23. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve a mayoral appointment of Timothy Godsell uh, to the Historic Preservation Committee for a term expiring on January 1st, 2023. Discussion? I will just say I did talk with with him and um, obviously I'm supporting his his um, appointment and the, the department also supports his the de development department supports his appointment so is that a full are we full now with him yes, yes. there was one vacancy so good discussion all those in favor of the appointment of Timothy Gotzel to the historic preservation committee please say aye aye, aye. All those opposed say no. Motion is approved. This time we have another public hearing regarding the naming of park property as Prairie Hill Park. Public hearing is now open. <laughs> Mr. Carolyn, do you want to say something about this? Or? Yes, Your Honor. Um, in 2010, uh, developers uh, Elder McMillan and Kurt, Kurt Colt uh, donated approximately uh, nine and a half acres of property uh, to the city of Marion for a uh, future park off of 29th Avenue, uh, west of uh, 50th Street. At the time of the donation, uh, the developers had requested uh, the naming of the park to be Prairie Hill Park. Um, the Marion Park Board uh, had uh, reviewed this naming request and uh, they are recommending uh, naming of the, uh, for, or the, the, the aforementioned name of the park to Prairie Hill Park. Okay. If there's anyone here to address the council, <coughs> either in, uh, in favor or in opposition of this measure, please come forward at this time. Okay, seeing that no one's coming forward, we will close the public hearing. Have we received any comments outside this meeting on this measure? Okay. Please note that in the record. <coughs> Mayor, I move to approve resolution number 26260. Hold on. 28260. Sorry, eyesight. <laughs> Approving the naming of certain park property located south of 29th Avenue, east of Greenway Court, and west of 50th Street, Prairie Hill Park. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 28260, approving the naming of park property located south of 29th Avenue and east of Greenway Court, and west of 50th Street as Prairie Hill Park. Discussion? Mike, I know people will wonder this was the approximate timeline for developing the park. It, it'll be in two um, uh, phases. We'll start a first phase uh, this coming summer. We're currently uh, working on the uh, master plan development process for that uh, park. Uh, actually, we'll be having an open house on February 25th at Lowell Park um, uh, for that to get some public input. Uh, once we have that plan uh, in place, then we'll start the process <coughs> of uh, actually developing the park, letting some contracts on certain phases of it. So probably over the next two to three years for full completion. Okay. So Two or three years. Perfect. Thank you. Any further discussion? Um, yes, Ms. Gadella. I would just add, I know we can't require it, but I, you know, I don't know who these developers are, but I appreciate their 
foresight, it's a boon to the community, and I wish more developers would follow this example um, because we are very heavy on the residential. This is a great place for a park. There's a lot of um, a lot of homes and condos in the area, and sure, more to come north of 29th. So, um, any developers listening out there, this is <laughs> good stuff. So, anyway, thanks. <laughs> any further discussion? All those in favor of resolution number 28260, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion is approved. Your Honor, I move to approve resolution number 2826, sorry, 28261, approving chapter 28E, agreement with Marion Independent School District regarding shared use of the district <coughs> tennis courts located at 675 South 15th Street. Second. Second. It's been moved by Councilmember Gadela, seconded by Councilmember Brandt to approve resolution number 28261, approving a Chapter 28E agreement with Marion Independent School District regarding sh the shared use of the district's tennis courts located at 675 South 15th Street. Discussion? Yes, Ms. Gadela. Yep, just want to point out. Um, the, I appreciate staff and the school district working together to have a partnership like this. I know in our strategic planning, this is something we've said that we hope to have more joint relationships for shared space and resources, and this is a great example. Okay. Further discussion? All those in favor of resolution number 28261, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion is approved. Mayor, I move to concur with recommendation to direct Marion Public Service Department to develop a maintenance plan for the north to south drainage way and easement along the eastern property line of Pheasant Trail Fort Development to manage vegetation and ensure proper flow of surface water. Second. It's been moved and seconded to concur with the recommendation to direct the Marion Public Service Department to develop a maintenance plan for the north-south drainage way and easement along the eastern property line of Pheasant Trail Fourth Development to manage vegetation and ensure proper flow of surface water. Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Please say no. The motion uh, is approved. For this next uh, item, I have to stand on that one. Sorry. Oh, you? Yeah. Yep. You are? Okay. The next, next, uh, next item, I am going to turn over the gavel to the Ma Deputy Mayor Pro Tem. Would you mind making it? Or maybe, Renee, would you make the sure. motion? Sure. Uh, Deputy Mayor Pro Tem, I move to concur with the recommendation to direct staff to reimburse up to $5,000 for drain tile material only per the Neighborhood Drainage Assistance Program Policy <coughs> with signature of general release agreement from the Pheasant Trail Fourth Development. Second. Has been moved and seconded to concur with recommendation to direct staff to reimburse up to $5,000 for drain tile material only per the Neighborhood Drainage Assistance Program Policy with signature of general release agreement from the Pheasant Trail Fourth Development. Discussion? Seeing none, uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 And all those opposed say no. So that's three ayes and two abstentions. Two abstentions. Yeah, abstain. Thank you. Mayor, I move to approve resolution number two eight, or is it six? Two eight two six two. At eight? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Uh, move to approve resolution number 28262, adopting the 2020 edition of the statewide urban design specification program, SUDAS. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 28262, adopting the 2020 edition of the statewide urban design specifications program. Discussion. All those in favor of resolution number 28262, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion is approved. 
Your Honor, I move to approve resolution number 28263, approving the 2020 City of Marion Supplemental Specifications of the Statewide Urban Design Area Standards, SUDAS. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 28263, approving the 2020 City of Marion Supplemental Specifications for the Statewide Urban Design Area Standards. Discussion. All those in favor of resolution number 28263, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, <laughs> please say no. Motion is approved. Mayor, I move to approve resolution number 28264, approving the 2020 City of Marion General Supplement to the Statewide Urban Design Area Standards, SUDAS, Design Manual. Second. It's been moved by Council Member Sternad, seconded by Council Member Gadela, to approve resolution number 28264, approving the 2020 City of Marion General Supplement to the Statewide Urban Design Area Standards. Discussion? All those in favor of resolution number 28264, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion is approved. Mayor, I move to approve project calendar regarding the 2020 storm sewer project. Resolutions 28265 through 28267. Second. It's been moved by Council Member Atkins, seconded by Council Member Brandt to approve the project calendar regarding the 2020 storm sewer project including resolutions 28265 through 28267. Discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion is approved. Mayor, I move to approve, I'm sorry. Yes, I move to approve the project calendar regarding the CMAR phase three project in the city of Marion from Marion Boulevard Bridge over Indian Creek North to Preservation of Trail Bridge over Indian Creek Bridge, New Steel Girder, as follows, resolutions 28268 through 28270. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the project calendar for the third phase of the CMR Trail Project from Marion Boulevard Bridge over Indian Creek North to Preservation of Trail Bridge over Indian Creek Bridge Yes, including resolutions number 28268 to 28270. That was a confusing resolution. <laughs> Who wrote that? <laughs> so this is the project calendar for the third phase, which includes uh, the bridge over Indian Creek, which is going to be re reconstructed uh, in a railroad theme. Uh, is that correct? That's correct. So basically it would be the area that is blue on the screen. So it starts at Marion Boulevard, changing that lime trail to concrete, and then it would be the trail that leads up to the bridge. It's taking that existing bridge down, cleaning up the girders, repainting them, rebuilding the bridge um, with the railroad theme. Um, and so that's phase three. Phase two um, got delayed because of permits, but that will be coming soon. And that is what's green on the, the map, and that's basically paving from Marion Boulevard down to Menards. So it's starting to come together. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. Um, yes. So this will okay. pave from the creek up the hill to the top, correct? Yes. Correct. Nice. But it won't go to the east because we right. need to leave that room for the cranes for the other bridge. For people who are wondering, and then we'll see the removal of the 7th Avenue Bridge um, sometime this summer. I believe it's either uh, end of this week, tomorrow, or next week. They're actually going to start doing the clearing and grubbing, which is taking down the trees. Good. Good to see progress on that. Okay, further discussion. All those in favor of the motion... Uh, to approve the project calendar for the third phase of the CMAR Trail Project, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion is approved. 
Your Honor, I move to approve the project calendar regarding the 2019 14th Street Reconstruction Project, NSI, as follows, including resolutions 28271 through 28273. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the project calendar for the 2019 14th Street Reconstruction <coughs> Project, including resolutions 28271 through 28273. Discussion? This will be a complete reconstruction of that portion of the street. Okay, there's no discussion. We'll vote. All those in favor of approving the project calendar for 14th Street Reconstruction Project, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. The motion is approved. How do I get this tongue twister every time? <laughs> Mayor, I move to remove. <laughs> from the table, resolution number 28243, approving plan of survey number 2336 for property located north of 35th Avenue and east of 35th Street, parcel A, POS 1845, Marion, Iowa. Second. It's moved and seconded to remove from the table resolution number 28243, approving the plan of survey uh, number 2336 for property located north of 35th Avenue and east of 35th Street, Parcel A, Plot of Survey, 1845. Discussion? Okay, all those in favor of, of the motion uh, of to remove from the table resolution number 28243, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. The motion is approved. I will pass the gavel for the next two items. So, Deputy Mayor Pro Tem, I move to approve resolution 28243, approving plat of survey number 2336 for property located north of 35th Avenue and east of 35th Street, parcel A, POS 1845, Marion, Iowa, Morris Wood, LLC. This is tabled 123 of 20. Second. Was moved and seconded to approve resolution number 28243, approving plat of survey number 2336 for property located north of 35th Ave and east of 35th Street. Parcel A, POS 1845 Marion, tabled on 123 of 20. Discussion? Seeing none, all of those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, all those opposed say no. Mm, abstain. One abstention. Uh, motion carries. Give me that. Okay. Uh, Deputy Mayor Pro Tem, I move to approve resolution number 28274, waiving objection to the annexation of property north of East Robbins Road and east of Sea Avenue into the city of Cedar Rapids. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 28274, waiving objection to the annexation of property north of East Robbins Road and east of C Avenue in the city of Cedar Rapids. Discussion? Is there a picture? <laughs> Did you know I was going to ask? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my computer is always the one that has the problem. It has nothing to do with the user. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Trying. Yeah, it's ah, here there we, we go. go. <laughs> you, Mike is my IT specialist. Yes. <laughs> um, so as younger. As you can see on the screen, the uh, red lines represent the corporate boundaries. Um, this 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 area here, I know it's kind of hard to see. This is C Avenue, and this <coughs> blue line here is the, it's actually the section line, but it's where Albernet Road exists. If the council recalls, we have an annexation agreement line between the two cities. That's uh, on the section line for for all intents and purposes of this that goes between Albernet and C. So it comes down and goes in this vicinity. Uh, Cedar Rapids has received a request to annex property, not only in the highlighted area, but all the way up to Echo Hill Road and then even beyond that. Um, 
we've worked with uh, the city and the staff, and one of the uh, uh, when an annexation occurs and you create uh, boundaries that touch, it becomes an issue um, because you're not allowed to create islands um, as it relates to annexation of boundaries. So as you can see here, this this uh, annexation would uh, create a area of ground that is uh, unincorporated, surrounded by corporate boundaries. Um, what Cedar Rapids has done is they've left 50 foot off the set back sides of this to keep that gap. Uh, we've been working with them for some time and this is going to be helpful as we annex property uh, in the future and um, uh, consistent with the boundary agreement. So if you can take this red point here and bring it down, um, you know, this, this area is in this uh, city of Marion area and that keeps us from cre creating additional islands. Uh, I could go into a lot more detail about this, but there is the area C and I think the council's aware um, there is an area that's been discussed. Um, the first one there annexes it. It's kind of like a, a no man's land. I don't think any either city really wants to take on the responsibility of a county subdivision. Um, so at this point, that's not with the 50 foot. It also kind of leaves that sitting out there as well. With all of the work that's going on related to Tower Terrace Road, um, there's going to be a lot of conversations about subdividing property, acquisition of property for the road and I'm assuming there'll be some conversations on development and annexation in the future as well. So uh, uh, City of Cedar Rapids and staff and, and city staff have been working together and this seemed like a really good uh, solution to allow, they've got some projects in this blue area to move forward. Uh, it's consistent with the annexation agreement and we feel like this is a really good situation and in the next Probably six months to a year, we'll have some resolve to some of these annexation um, issues. Primarily, I think because uh, right away is going to be acquired for Tower Terrace Road. It's going to bring some of those questions to light. So there'll be more to come on this uh, in this area, and I think a lot more to come in the next six months. But uh, we we have no issue with this moving it forward, and we think it makes sense, and it allows uh, a, a key development area on the on C Avenue to happen in, in Cedar Rapids. Um, do you know what they're zoning that? What they will zone it? I don't, I don't know parents? exactly what the zoning district is, but it's residential. It's residential. Um, yep. Okay. Yep. Other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. Motion carries four ayes and one abstention. Thank you. Back to the mayor. This time we have a public forum for members of the public to address the council on any item um, that is not on the agenda this evening. <coughs> if there's anyone here to address the council, please come forward. Okay, we will close the public hearing, oh, the, the public forum um, section. All right, uh, I think I will start with the um, council comments. Um, I want to thank everybody who has who, who uh, wrote a card to council member Draper. I've, I delivered the cards in two different batches and um, I know he and the family really appreciated them. Um, we did receive uh, I did receive today a letter of resignation from council member Draper. Uh, we just ask everyone to keep him in your prayers and this family. Anything? Uh, no comments today. Okay. No. Thank you. Would you have a closed session this evening? <coughs> Make a motion. Mayor, at this time, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn to a closed session regarding litigation as permitted under Section 21.5, Number 1, Letter C of the Code of Iowa. Second. If to move and second it to adjourn to closed session regarding litigation as permitted under Section 21.51C of the Code of Iowa. May we have the legal um, 
Council's opinion, please. Thank you, Your Honor. I've reviewed the proposed subject matter for the closed session and find the same to be appropriate under Iowa Code 21.513. Thank you. Before we vote, is there any discussion? Do we have a roll call vote? Ms. Atkins? Yes. Mayor Abu-Akli? Yes. Mr. Brandt? Yes. Ms. Cadelia? Yes. Mr. Sternad? Yes. Thank you. We're adjourned to closed session. We'll return to open session upon completion of the, the closed session.